Ah, hello there. Are you tired of boring cloth masks? Don't like getting recognized? Then what you need is a Terminator power mask. <laughs> Come and have a look at this. Take a blank pie tin, and the idea is to press it against your face. You don't have to be neat, you just have to outline your facial features. Be careful around your eyes, but when you're finished, you should have something that looks like that. And now, the fun bit. Take some PVA glue and water, two parts glue, one part water, and take some old newspaper or loo roll, cover your whole mask in two or three layers, leave it to dry overnight, and then you have something that looks like that. And now you're ready to add some facial features to your mask. And to do this, simply take your loo roll, dip it into the PVA mixture, and then you're gonna wanna press it into shape on your mask. I'm doing a nose here. You could do eyebrows, lips, ears, whatever you want, but same as last time, leave it to dry overnight, and then you should have something that looks like that. And as you can see, the mask has gone white and rock solid. And now you're ready to paint your mask, and you can use any color you like, poster paint or acrylic paint. I'm just doing a quick to show you, and I'm just gonna slosh on some color here. You can take your time, but cover your whole mask in paint, and then you should have something that looks like that. Look at that. Brilliant, isn't it? And you can do any design you like. Why not try the Keaton mask? And see, made the ears there out of pieces of cardboard. Or the mask of truth. Look, he even used a bit of gold paint on that. And then the Ian mask. Look at that raised eyebrows. Try it yourself, your very own Terminator mask. And I'll see you next time. So long. Did you know it takes three sheep to make one double experience sweater? Amazing. I didn't even know they could knit. Order yours tomorrow. Ah!